what's up guys today I will be showing you how to bind the FSAS to your Trinity Evolution and it's very difficult because it doesn't give off telemetry from the receiver so it doesn't actually notify you that it is bound through the RX signal so what we need to do is get your lipo hold the bind button down hold the bind button down and then plug in your lipo Oh, my bad. First video. Hold on. RX bind. My bad. I apologize. Bear with me here. It's my first video. A lot. I see a lot of people don't know how to do this and they want help, but it's hard to do it through a message or through anything else. But a visual idea on a video of how to do it will help out everybody a lot, especially if they're having the same problems. See, it's still blinking. When I let go, the receiver is still blinking, right? So what you want to do is you want to turn the controller off or you want to hit back. Boom, solid light. It is bound. It's bound now, okay? So we go back. It, it still has a question mark because this receiver doesn't give off telemetry from the whole quad. That's why it's kind of small. It, they took out all the telemetry and they only made it a receiver. So now what you want to do is it's bound. You want to unplug your quad. Make sure your props are off, everybody, because it's not safe to have your props on. What you want to do is now, you want to plug your quad in to your laptop, to the Betaflight configurator. You want to open up your Betaflight configurator. What you want to do is connect to it. You want to go to your ports, if you guys can see this, I'll bring it on a little bit so they can see. You want to turn only UR3 on, that's it, only UR3. Hit UR3, go down here, you want to hit save every time you leave the screen. You hit save, I'll show you guys, just hit save, it's not going to be a problem. Ready, okay, what you do is you hit, nope, I apologize once again, first video. Bear with me. You want to go to your configurations tab. You want to hit serial base receiver. You want to click it and you want to hit the S bus and I bus. Then you want to go down to the second one, serial receiver provider, and you want to hit I bus. Okay? Now you hit save and reboot. Okay? Once it's saved and reboots, you can disconnect. Now you can. Mm hmm. Now you want to come back here, oh, you want to connect your LiPo back to your quad, okay? Now you want to connect back to your configurator on Betaflight, okay? Now you have your controller, and my receiver is still a solid red, which means it's still bound, okay guys? So you want to go to your receiver, and then now you see your, your, your receiver. Now, when I make movements, I am getting movements on my receiver tab. That is letting me know that this is bound to my flight controller and it is hooked up through, thank you, UR3 on my flight controller. I don't know if you guys can get a good visual idea. There is, on the left side here, whoop, sorry guys, right here, it is plugged in, okay? And that is going to my receiver, the FSAAS. And this honestly is my first time binding this receiver. This is my first receiver of this AS. Okay, but as you can see, when I grab my Turnigy on my screen, I have movements. So if you do it the way I did, I'm sorry for any miscommunications or anything like that. Bear with me, guys. I truly apologize. This is my first video. And I just wanted to really show you guys how to do it because I see a lot of people have problems. They don't know how to bind their receiver and that's my main problem I had in the beginning is binding my dang receiver, okay? My receivers and making sure they were on the right UART port because they never bound. I was like a week straight in having trouble to do it. Okay, but once you got that stuff, oh, and another thing is that if you're, uh, if you're having trouble and then you need to flash your flight controller, when you flash it, 
and it rebinds, especially if it's from an Ishin Wizard, you want to go to your configurations tab and you'll see that the flight controller was set at 90 degrees. When you flash your flight controller, everything resets. So you have to actually go back into your board and sensor uh, the alignment and you have to actually, in the yaw settings, you'll have to set your yaw to 90 degrees or 120 degrees back to the normal spot that it was in or else you will have to actually flip the board right side up to where your arrow is actually pointing right side up. You see the arrow there guys? You will need to point it that way. Just a couple pointers here and there. Uh, if you guys honestly like the video, let me know what's up please. If you want me to post more troubleshooting problems on videos of actually how to troubleshoot uh, receiver problems, how to bind your quad to your controller, how to just do anything, honestly, how to configure it all and set it up and make sure it flies ready to go right when you plug that quad in. So let me know, guys. Give a like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you.